that boy. You know, an arrogant man once told me you can't change the past, only how it shapes you. I think he might be right. It's been a while since I've had a confidence. Would the god of few words lend me his ear now and again? As long as I am needed.
Those scrawlings must be Sather nearby. Lunda's or Be cautious. We know not what it does. You really think she'd send us to get the bloody thing if it was going to kill us? Let's just take it back to her. More Sather markings. Goonhild's companions can't be that far ahead. Look what they've done to this place. <laughs> more of Lunda's old armor. Nearly have the complete set now. Sigil arrows won't work on this. Learn anything? Over there. Those are the lost Sather spirits. Friends of Goonhild. They don't look very friendly anymore, do they? Let us put them to rest. <laughs> <laughs> Protect yourself! Go! 
the crest of Cavassier the Wise. More like Cavassier the Inebriated, in truth. I think that's the last of them. Damn it. I knew these souls. I would have thought them smarter than to meddle with Sather magic. They were desperate. And now they are dead. Good riddance. You blame yourself. And? You not lessen your pain. Let's return to Boone. Unless you'd like to condescend more? I do not. Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. I wish things had gone differently. What's it say, brother?
Astrid's garden. The wilds reclaimed it. It was beautiful once. This mentions a spell that puts trolls to sleep, and a magic relic that acts as a sort of counter spell. All is desolation, a fitting fate. Spirit. Freya, you returned. Astrid, what happened to you? To your garden? The angry are my life's work. Rotted. My monument to your glory reduced to this. I am sorry, my queen. You need never apologize to me, old friend. I swore to keep this garden in bloom until you return to live forever amongst its peak treasures. A just punishment. 
I will return Astrid. Kratos, we purge this garden of poison. Why? The Earth is a reflection of those who come to it. So long as the land is plagued, her soul will be as well. We have to destroy the totems. They're poisoning Astrid's garden. When my garden blooms, so will my soul. See that explosive? Setting it off could help. Ah, uh, maybe you can hit it from a different angle. The family crest of Henir. Poor man. Anything interesting, brother? The door's held shut by that counterweight. We lower it, the door will open. Break that chain and it'll lower the counterweight. What's that? Despite his actions at Midgard, Atreus does still care for you. I know. I raised a son, too. It may be hard to believe, but he was quite similar to Atreus at this age. He adored his father, always wanted to do right by him. 
and was constantly frustrated that no matter what he did, he never could seem to get his approval. He confided in me a lot, sought the comfort his father withheld. I wonder if your son could benefit from that too. He has befriended the other dwarf, the blue one's brother. Oh, well, if Sindri has that covered, I suppose there's no need for me in his life anymore, is there? That is not what I meant. That was sarcasm. My garden is still as dead as I am, isn't it? That's all Lunda's armor taken care of, as well as her odd little sphere. Should we return them to her? See that explosive? Setting it off could help. Ah, maybe you can hit it from a different angle. Turns to the garden. Good. Still aches. There must be more poison somewhere. <laughs> Sigil arrows won't work on this. When my garden blooms, so will my soul. It's finished. Let's return to Astrid. Yes, your garden grows again. Freya, how did you... It's okay, Astrid. It's time to move on. Thank you, goddess. I do love you. And I you. You've done a great kindness. A temporary one. The garden will die again. All things do. That is no reason not to try. You remember anything about what Dream Through of a Stonemason's son said to you after building Asgard's wall? Oh, yes. One of the many occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a wager without my consent. I wish I could say that was the worst of his husbandly habits. What wager? I've told this story, brother. And now she may tell her own. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bet. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the queen. 
Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half drunk before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the Mason wants. So, off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected. Dagger stashed in my robe for emergency. And this Mason, this giant in disguise... His name was Hrimthur! He just smiled to see me, and as you said, he whispered in my ear. He said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they'd burn for it. I pointed out I was Aesir now too, technically. He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better and continued. He said he'd built in a structural flaw behind the Asgard Realm Tower. I knew it! How do we make use of it? We don't. He said Surtur would know what to do. And if Surtur's approaching Asgard's wall... Then it is already Ragnarok. Aye. Blast it. I hoped it might have given us another way. Hmm. This crest belonged to Odin, a peace offering from my people, and a waste of good work. Chain from here as well, no? The gate's open. We can head back and get inside. Mimir, I never asked how it felt to lose your head. What would you have me say? That it tickled? Merely curious. If you wish to derive some satisfaction from my pain, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Kratos swung swift and true, didn't you, brother? I felt nearly a scratch. Shame. Ah, oh, I know that face! 
You got something for me, don't you? Would have been a shame to have left that behind. Lunda. Right. Business time. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much. Elsa's has been itching to get her ball back all dang winter. It's her favorite toy. What? Now, if you could find the rest of my armor set I left out there, I'll repair it for you. Free of charge, even. Oh, I uh, actually... Any dwarf can. I just didn't think you'd get my orc for me if you knew that. Sorry, y'all. Good thing you were so cautious, brother. Quiet. He's right, Mamir. Show respect. The squeaky toy could have been the death of us all. And it nearly was. Do not laugh. It's hard not to, brother. Try. Okay. Okay. What's the witch of the woods need? Let's make something then. Somebody ought to save these, even if the van here won't. I'll buy it, then sell it for a mint once the Vanir decide they want it back. <laughs> So much as a paper cut in that. You won't get so much as a paper cut in that. You won't get so much as a paper cut in that. Just came to stare. Oh, so I'm just some clod hopper? Come back if you need more crap. Your friends are at peace. Good. And I'm sorry. Had I been here, I would have prevented this. Do you think us lost babes, incapable of making our own choices? No, but... We made a mistake. But it was ours to make. Not yours to prevent. Even if you had been here. I... Yes, you're right. Goodbye, Gunhil. Goodbye, my goddess. Kratos, 
Thank you for taking the time to help my people. I helped no one. They were already dead. Oh, but you did. You put their spirits at ease, and that has eased my spirit as well. I feel lifted. Enjoy it. It will not last. You're right. There are most certainly other corrupted sisters out in the realms. You always know how to end on a cheery note, brother. <laughs>